So now that I acquired the Yowie Wowie Fiend card, I guess that's what I'll call it, the Yowie Wowie Fiend card, since I got him from completing the Yowie Wowie quest and fusion. Uh, but since I acquired that brand new card, we are going to take an in-depth look at it. I'm going to show you guys what the event image looks like on that card. And I would show you what that image looks like on the event card, but the problem is I don't really want to change the image that I have on the event card at the moment because then I'll never be able to change it back since they uh, kind of updated something and I think this is stupid. So uh, the Fiend and Bray Wyatt are no longer one superstar. They kind of disconnected the Fiend character from Bray Wyatt, meaning that now uh, the Bray Wyatt images will no longer work on the Fiend uh, cards. And uh, I think that's kind of stupid. The reason why I still have this uh, image on here is because I put this image on here before they did the update. So I guess uh, if you did have a Bray Wyatt image on prior to the update, then it would still let you keep that image on the card. But if you try to change it now, it's not going to let you do it. Now watch, if I go to swap image here, right? Uh, as you guys can see here, none of the other Bray Wyatt images show up in this category. Only my, uh, you know, event fiend image and also the new fiend image that I got from the Yowie Wowie quest. You can no longer put Bray Wyatt images onto this card. And I wonder why the background is green there. That's kind of weird. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, it's kind of stupid how they did that. I don't like how they did that. So if you do have a Bray Wyatt image on this card uh, and you really like it, I would suggest not changing it. I don't know if you guys have noticed this or not for yourselves, but yeah, you can no longer put Bray Wyatt images on the Fiend cards. And I just, I think it's really stupid. I don't like that. It gives you less options, less of a variety to choose from. So I do think that is really stupid, you know. And if we go to like a normal Bray Wyatt card, watch. I can no longer put any of the Fiend images onto this, okay? So as you guys can see here, it's literally just Bray Wyatt images. There's no Fiend. You can no longer put Bray Wyatt images on the Fiend card, and you can't put Fiend images on the Bray Wyatt cards. This is something I knew about for a couple of days, but I forgot to mention it to you guys just because I've had so much content to cover lately, so much Halloween packs and Halloween stuff in general. This month has just been jam-packed with lots of awesome content for me to feature for you guys, and that's why I didn't get around to mentioning this yet. And there's something else I want to mention to you guys that I knew about for a couple of days and am just getting around to mentioning now, and that is a brand new card coming to the game. Don't know if it's going to be an event card or what the case is with it, but I will get into talking about that in a little bit, along with checking out the Bray Wyatt Fiend card and showing the event image on that. Um, and, uh, yeah, so basically that's what's going down here in the video, not any packs or anything like that, unless I decide to do the free packs in a little bit, maybe I'll do the free packs in a little bit, but other than that, I don't really have any other packs to feature, just wanted to make more of a discussion video, more or less, for you guys this time around, but, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about the changes to the Bray Wyatt card, do you like it, do you hate it? I would love to know your thoughts and opinions on it. Like I said, I don't like it, but let me know what you think about it. Do you think The Fiend and Bray Wyatt should be two different things? I really don't think so, at least not in the game anyways. As far as the storyline is concerned, that's fine, but in the game, leave it alone. I like having my varieties of images to choose from for my cards, you know? But uh, anyways, guys, before I get into talking about the special card coming to the game and also showing off the Bray Wyatt card, if you do go on to enjoy what you see in this video, make sure to smash the like button. As as hard as you physically could with your favorite finishing maneuver also be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new it would really mean so much to me if you could subscribe i am on the road to 20,000 subscribers so if you could please subscribe to the channel that would be awesome let's get to 20,000 sometime very soon and guys don't forget to also turn on the post notification bell as well to join the cool squad here on youtube which of course is the nullification squad and if you guys do like subscribe and turn on the bell guess what you're on board for the best content possible here on youtube regarding supercard there's going to be a lot of great stuff coming for you guys come season six season six is going to be huge and it's right around the corner so there's going to be a lot of content to cover uh giveaways and all kinds of stuff you know qr code giveaways gift card giveaways i do so much super card stuff here on the channel that will be coming and you're not going to want to miss out on it so make sure you do subscribe turn on the bell and you'll be on board for everything uh but sorry if i'm rambling on at this point guys just wanted to get that out of the way i do tend to ramble on a lot but anyways guys first things first let's check out this brand new fiend card if you did not see my video of me claiming him go check it out it is the last video that i uploaded so go check that video out and you guys could see me open some halloween fusions and also claim the fiend card right there in the video but uh, anyways guys here we go SummerSlam 19 uh okay so where's my fiend card at now 
yada 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 there he is okay so improve okay and you guys already know what this uh this base image looks like that comes on it i'm sure you guys have looked at this card a billion times by now but that's what the base image looks like of course and now let's check out the event image and i actually really like how this image looks on it i think i actually like this image better on this card than i do the image that comes on it by default i don't know this image is just really clean uh clean i love the leather jacket that he's wearing um but i'm not really too sure it's a really solid image on this card but i'm not really too sure which one i like better I personally think though I do like the event one better on this card But let me know your thoughts and opinions by commenting down below about this uh, But anyways guys, uh, yeah, so we checked out the fiend card now Let me move into talking about the special uh, 2k20 card that was brought to my attention by my awesome subs They were like go in the catalog. There's uh, I'm not gonna tell you who it is just yet But let's take a look here so SummerSlam 19, and I am guessing this is going to be an event card. I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be an event card. But if we take a look here in the catalog towards the bottom, we got this WWE 2K20 Walter card just sitting in here. Now, Cat Daddy did not mention anything about this yet. Um, they didn't say he's going to be an event card. Um, and I don't think he's coming with any copies of the game as far as I know because uh, we have pretty much were told what was coming what with what copies of the game. Like the standard and the deluxe editions get Roman and Becky Lynch where the SmackDown editions get Mankind, Mr. Socko Support, um, The Rock, Roman and Becky. But they did not mention that you get a Walter card with any of the editions of the game. So I'm guessing that since he wasn't mentioned for any of the editions of the game he has to be an event card right i mean it, it just kind of makes sense so yeah I, I don't think he's going to be a card that comes with any physical copies of the game i think he's going to be an event card i know we have lms coming up maybe we'll hear more about it um maybe he'll be the lms card i'm not really sure but I'm kind of hoping for a Halloween themed LMS card, you know, that would be really cool. Just like we got with The Undertaker, if you guys remember that Undertaker Last Man Standing, where they gave us a Halloween Zombie Undertaker card, that was a very cool Last Man Standing. So yeah, I am hoping for a Halloween card, I'm kind of hoping Walter isn't the LMS card. Um, but yeah, he is in the catalog right now, so we're not really sure as of yet. Uh, um, how this card's going to be featured or implemented in the game, but I guess we'll have to wait and see what Cat Daddy says. When I hear more about it, I could definitely mention it uh, to you guys so you guys know what's going on. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's the new special card coming to the game. Walter, let me know what you think. It's an interesting choice indeed, you know, like uh, out of all the 2K20 cards they could have done, why Walter? And no disrespect to Walter or anything. I just feel like there's so many better superstars they could have gone with here, but we're getting Walter for some reason as a special 2K20 card. But I don't know. Um, you know, let me know your thoughts and opinions on that. I would love to hear from each and every one of you. Uh, but anyways, guys, I guess I will open up the free packs, you know, and that will kind of be the last thing to feature here in the video so here we go ladies and gentlemen with the first free pack will i score myself a cataclysm card probably not i mean it's not like it matters anyways because cataclysm cards don't benefit me anymore but it would still be cool to get the top thing that you could get from the free packs since that like never happens uh but anyways guys here we go with this let's see what i get from this in three two one all right so no i get myself a stupid titan card and of course my two credits so let's see who the titan card is going to be it is carl anderson and too freaking sweet i guess i don't know and what'd you think about the throwdown on raw between the oc and the uh, street profits let me know do you think that's going to be an interesting rivalry i would love to hear from each and every one of you but anyways here we go now with the final free pack so let's do it up and let's see what i get here in three two one Okay, guys, so just a crappy monster card this time. All right, and of course my two credits. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Okay, guys, so let's see who the monster card is. It's King Corbin, and what'd you think of his draft to SmackDown? Are you guys happy with that? You guys happy he's going to the blue brand? Let me know that too. Uh, but anyways, guys, that, of course, is going to do it here for this video. I do want to thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you did go on to enjoy the video, remember to smash the like button and hit that like button with anything you want. You know, maybe the boogie slam for the boogeyman. Maybe put the like button in a mandible claw. Whatever you guys want to do with the like button, it's completely up to you. And guys, make sure to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to stay up to date with the latest 
and greatest super card content and this way you won't miss out on anything whether it's giveaways for qr codes or gift cards or just awesome videos in general i literally do everything super card here as i mentioned on the channel and uh, i do post some pretty great content i do put a lot of time and effort into my content so please subscribe it would mean so much to me and turn on the bell but anyways guys i hope you all have an awesome rest of your day or night catch you later and of course peace out